thousands of students in Lapeer never made it into their classrooms because the district's buses never made it out of the yard. I've been in transportation a long time and I have never seen vandalism to this extent. Flat front tires on 53 of the district's 73 buses. That's more than two-thirds of their fleet. The first bus driver who showed up to do a safety check spotted the vandalism shortly after 5 o'clock this morning. The valve stems had been loosened to let the air completely out of the tires, forcing the district to cancel classes as their buses transport about 3,500 public school kids. That's over half of their students. Classes also had to be canceled at two private schools, Bishop Kelly and St. Paul Lutheran because their buses are used to transport many of them as well. It is requiring an entire day for our four mechanics plus we brought on extra help. We've had to rent uh, these big air compressors that you saw. So it's a very costly day. Very costly. This fence surrounds the bus yard here and the gate was locked over the weekend but it's not that high and so it's quite likely that those responsible simply hopped over it. The district suspects teenagers are the likely culprits, and if they thought this was just going to be a cool way of snagging a three-day weekend... They should enjoy it while they can. However, we have used up all of our snow days, so this school, this school day will have to be made up. Lapeer police are now investigating to find those responsible, and these days, teenagers often have a way of telling on each other or themselves. In Lapeer, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.